what's up guys welcome back so uh, just want to show you how to play coronado by lovejoy on the acoustic guitar got a request and thought of why not let's make one acoustic version now this one is different than the version which is played in the studio if you want to learn that i got a guitar tutorial on the electric guitar you can check it out but this one is only for uh, the acoustic guitar uh, you got the keep on six fret and with that keep on fret six you got the chords easy one advantage the second most the greatest thing is you can actually play the riff and you can play the chords all together like I did right now. So you don't have to play the chords separately and keep that on a loop and play the riff down. Uh, you can just play the chords and the riff together if you call the key one fret 6 and that's why I call this the acoustic version. A bit different but it's really nice. So let's get started. Now with that in mind, we just have four chords, one main chord progression throughout the whole song. First chord is a C major, mute 3, 2, open, first open. Then we have an E minor, which is open, second, second, open, open, open. F major 7, which will be mute, mute, 3, 2, 1, open. Later on in the song, we'll also have the F5 power chord, but I'll come to that later on. Uh, then we have a F minor, which is played like this. You bar the whole first fret, you got the fifth fret, a third frets on A and D. An easy way to play like this. So starting off with the intro riff, we just hold the C major chord, we have a plectrum in our right hand, we strum from E string till the B string, a down. So we have down, I go for an up stroke on the B string, and after that I go for down up seven times only on the B string first fret. So I just hold the C major chord. So we got down, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I play 3rd fret on the B string uh, twice, down up. And then I play high E string open twice, down up. So we have... Got it? And then I go to the E minor chord, I do the exact same thing, but this time I strum from the top E till the B string. Not the high E string, till the B string. Up stroke on the B string. Play the B string open 8 times, I mean uh, 7 times, down up. Then you play third fret on the, I'm sorry, then you play open on the high E string, so it's a bit reversed. So we got open high E string twice and then third fret on the B string twice. So that was, and this one is so just a bit reversed. So all put together, you're just going to be playing it twice and the intro sounds like this. Then we have this thing, the main riff of the song I'll say. So uh, let's get started with that one. So chord progression will be a C, then an E minor, then an F major, and then an F minor, which I play like this. Uh, so F major you play like this, F minor will be ring finger on third fret of the D string, index finger barring the G B high E string first fret. So you have your pinky free to do the rest of the uh, riff. So what we do over here is... All our downs, I really go for some muted down strokes, so hold the C major chord, you go for a down, down, then add your pinky on third fret of the high E string, go for a down stroke, so we have tack, tack, then again do another down stroke, but without third fret on the high E string, so we have tack, 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 notice that, pop, pop, bell, up. and then you do this. And you go for pa, pa, di, di, da. So you do the third fret on the high E string twice this time. So we have and open again. So basically we have this is the melody which we're just playing on the chords. So we have now how I actually mute the string is by basically keeping my palm after every down, and that you that you just do for all the chord shapes. So we have. So one more time. Notice that. So we got. Then you go to the E minor chord. You just do the exact same thing. Just hold the E minor chord shape and use your pinky or ring finger to play that. 
Go to F major 7 chord, exact same thing, use your pinky to do that. For the F minor chord, it goes like this. To the hand stroke, add your pinky to from the high E string. Remove your pinky, play first from the high E string. And then we do this. I do a slide from 3 to 5 on the high E string. Then 3 on high E string. Then I play high E string open twice. Then 1 on E. And open E. So we have. That's it. So we got. One more time, just close the notice what I'm doing. And that's how you play the main riff. Uh, by the way, one thing which you can actually do to make the string pattern a lot more easy is you can just always keep your hand moving. So we have. So in between you can get this major dance stroke and all. But it really helps. At the beginning, it may sound a bit like it's a bit hard. But once you get used to it, keep your arm always moving. I mean, your wrist. Like you will be able to do any string pattern. And it helps you to sing along while doing. Like it just goes in a auto sing mode. So we have. that oh, that was too much but uh, we have this thing going on then we have uh, a bit palmating stuff for the bird we play we just hold the chord sheaves and all for all the chord progression and what I do is I go for palm reading which is having your palm rested over the bridge you get the sound and I go for down show one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four sixteen down a little bit fast so we have tick 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 and again focus on the top string go to E minor go to F five so it will be three one three three F5 is just a bar chord and then F minor. Really want to get that minor note. And then you have the chorus. And uh, that time, that time. just goes a bit soft like we just go one dance string every chord in this part so one down on C then let's play the E minor all the way down over here it will be now uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 on A uh, 9 on D 9 on G 8 on B only strum the ADCB if you can't just hold the E minor and strum then you strum the F major once and then we have so we go for down mute down mute up, 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 down, up, down, up. So we have down, 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 up, da, 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 da. So down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down. Right? And what else? Um. Mm, you can just um, know the string pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Twice for every chord, you can try that out. And what else can I say um, for that part? Uh, for the end of the song, uh, there's a slight change. At the starting of the riff, which we have, it goes like this. And then it goes back to normal. So we have. So 
only for the C major chord we just change this. What we do is we add the pinky on third fret of the high E string, hit that third fret, then open E, third fret on E, open E, then third fret on B, then uh, open E, three on B, then B1. So we have play thrice, not twice. So we have ping, tap. And then go back to normal. And then we actually don't play F minor chord, we just stick to the F major chord and play the riff normally. We don't do that. Ting 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 da ding. So we have uh, And then we have da -bum, da -da -da -bum, da -da -da. We just end the song. <clears throat> Sorry, so that's how you just play the whole song. And I hope it helps you out. Let me know what other song you just want to learn. If you haven't subscribed, you do so. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.